Va Salute. This is Troy Pacelli of Last Call, and I'm just here to let you know that the following live stream is rated R for adult language, highly inappropriate jokes, and... Oh, who the f*** are we kidding? We have no idea what is going to come out of Gorilla's mouth. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Walter's Review, where we are reviewing the episode, The Romance. With me, I got Resolute Germ. How are you doing? Not too bad. How you doing, girl? Well, we're doing good. Since you're you're back and, well, we're still waiting on PvP, at least now we won't go on a tangent about scissoring chickens this week. Yeah, you guys need <laughs> adult supervision sometimes. Hey, don't, I don't even know how that you were freaking started, but... Hey, so... <laughs> If you want sure psychologists will ask that question for years to come. Oh, hey, that yeah, has you know, to be the first time anyone ever thought of a Slytherin chickens. Yeah, well, I know I'm gonna need, need a psychologist because Chad GPT told me I needed a psychologist when I told told to go take a toaster bath. So. <laughs> well, it being an AI, it probably was. Under the impression you're telling it a dirty joke. <laughs> well, no, I told it to go take a toaster bath because I was getting pissed with it. I knew I was getting pissed with it. But anyhow, should we go ahead and get started with our prologue? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Life on Walton's Mountain never seemed more stable than when I was 18 and in college. It was comforting to know that the family was always there knowing exactly what they were doing and accepting it as the right and necessary way to live. Each of us has a secret life, private dreams and aspirations and fantasies that we were hesitant to share with others. I had always associated my mother with our home and thought the boundaries of her life were within the walls of that house. Then one day, I happened to stumble across my mother's private dream. Oh, God, God, don't tell me you looked in the box in the closet. Never look in the box in the closet. I'm telling you, you do not want to look at that box. No. That gives therapists most of their business. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know what's in that box in the closet, look up the song, For She Was Mama. <laughs> Hello, Suzanne. Welcome to the show. Family was always... Uh, yeah, hey Suzanne, how's it going? Now, now Suzanne, no, no mention of scissoring chickens in the chat this week. All right, so <laughs> anyhow, she's just sitting here drawing. I thought she was reading something here, but no, she's sitting here drawing. And uh, John was not being too subtle at all here. He keeps making all these quick noises, and she doesn't notice the damn thing hardly. But he sticks up to her and. And a pitch right on the old ass. <laughs> I don't know how appropriate that is for your mother, but <laughs> not very. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He gave her a pitch right. Nowadays, he'd be getting me too to, out of oblivion. There, but she jumps up and all startled. He wants to see her picture, and apparently, she was she was sitting there painting the mountain. And man, I she... didn't. Oh, she looks stoned in that. Oh, never no, right. missed it. Yeah, but she paid like she's painted the house with it, and I think she's painted Elizabeth under the 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 willow tree. And then you got uh, you got a job boy here. Her, she's painting the mountain, and she's at dueling, and she takes him home. And this, this is kind of fu funny here. Uh, uh, John Boy mentioned or mentioned that she should go. She should go to the college there, or go to Charlottesville and take some drawing courses. She's like, "Well, we don't have the money for that. It's free. All you have to do is bring your own supplies." Well, I don't have the time. It's a couple hours one day, day a week. You know, she's like, "Make up excuses why she can't go." And you know, I don't see why she shouldn't shouldn't go because then that'll save her some. Uh, you know, she needs her own time. You know, John goes fishing. Yeah. You know, 
but she did have a lot of excuses ready. Oh, yeah. For someone who just found out what she was doing, he had all those comebacks right there ready to go. Well, he's a fast thinker, you know. Fast thinker that boy is, you know. They get you in trouble in some places. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. Did they strike then she you goes for like, the scissoring chickens? Uh, no, I don't think they did. Why? Uh, just, Suzanne was asking. Oh, no, no, no. That, that just that stream just went way off the walls. I, I could check to see if it came up. I... Uh, let's see. Is it still up? Uh, no, it's still there. <laughs> it's still up. So I don't care how weird you are as long as you don't play more than a few seconds of their material. No, they don't care Care how raunchy you get as long as you just don't use the wrong pronouns. Oh, this Otherwise, is the 70s. They didn't have pronouns yet. No, I'm talking about YouTube censorship. YouTube on on YouTube send. Oh yeah, YouTube. The... Thankfully, I think you're in the clear with YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's by far some of the worst stuff. <laughs> has some of the more raunchy stuff we said on this thing here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's already. Then she goes, like, how am I getting here? He says, I'll in your car. I'll teach you how to drive. Then I would not want to be the teacher of that. I wouldn't want to hear their talk to that. Yeah. You teach an old beer. Not on the nice car. Yeah. So anyhow, they were talking about something about was it smallpox is gonna be a thing of the past or no whoopee cough. Then uh, Mary Ellen says she, that she'll be do she'll be a doctor and all that that stuff. She wants to be a nurse, you know. And she'll have to come treat them all on Walton's Mountain if an epidemic ever show. Man, that sounds familiar. Ugh. Yeah, it's quite common back then. Well, so I think I. Uh, joke about what's recently been going on. Oh, they wouldn't come see you. You had, to, even though everyone was supposed to stay in place, you had to go see them to get your shot or to get to see a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I think we were better off with the old family doctors that came to your homes. And, you know, you could trade like. You can tra trade a couple bear, st bear steaks for your treatment, you know? Yeah. Back when they actually ha ran their own practice and they weren't basically being puppeted up the butt by an insurance company. <laughs> well, you, you know hey. how much... Hey, what? Uh, PVP, hello. Hey, uh, hey, PVP, how's it going? You may That's need to highlight the uh, link form. Yeah, you just got connected. Um, I got the link at the very top there, or I'll go in and pin it. Pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. There we go. We got the link pinned. Oh, well, girl, my doctor still does house calls. Yeah, but you're out in the middle, middle boondocks there, and Still, you're in a whole amazing. different country. You're in a whole different country. Yeah, I'm sure your doctor wants to have as little to do with the Canadian health system as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, the the stop the stop the before the bickering started up. Uh, Livia says I'm gonna take drawings class at a nice school over in Charlottesville. And apparently John hasn't said anything here. And what do you plan on studying, Liv? Painting. Oh, I remember you used to like to paint pictures. 
I've done that for a long time. Now, do you think he actually remembered that, or is he just quickly like just talking out of his ass? I think he may have remembered one or two paintings when they were young, and just put two to the two together. Yeah. Because yeah, it just seemed like it, it, it took a second. Then he's like, "Oh, you used to like that, didn't you?" Yeah, yeah. This is all quite a shock to him. Yeah, yeah. he's used to if something like that's up with, that that would actually come and talk to him about it. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, you can't picture me. I yeah, it's and there were pictures taken and everything. Yeah, the the shit. No, you got Mary I'll be adorable. You got to live in Charlottesville. It's like one day, both of you know. John Boy said he was gonna teach her how to drive. That that car actually looked complicated to drive. Oh yeah. It is uh, pretty different from even a stick shift of today. Well, nowadays you can you got the manuals and that it's very easy to learn to drive. I bet you even my kid could drive it. Right. No, oh, he's ignoring me. So you can make money. If you let that kid drive, make sure you put a webcam in there so we can see the demolition derby. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd have a fun time explaining that one to the insurance company. All right, so trip because I was feeling the need of a change. Yeah, so basically, Olivia just needs that change and all that. Dude. Grandma, it was so against that this this week. I like I did not get why she was so against it this week. Well, she's the old fashioned type, and yeah. change really scares her. Yeah. Hey, and hey, PVP. Hey, PVP. Hey, guys. How's it going? No, Grandma was totally. Gra Grandma was. Oh, oh, uh, oh! I got a mute. I got. I get an echo. There we go. Got a mute. There we go. Yeah. Okay. No, well, I will be back in just a minute. Uh, uh, yeah. Grandma, 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 Grandma's always got a problem with everything, right? Like you know, she's Grandma. Yeah. I like this one though. You know, I have to uh, give a, a qualification though. I only got to see the first half of the episode because the cable guy got here like way, way, like an hour and a half late because he had other shit happening, and uh, so he just left like about you know five minutes ago, and he was here for like a fucking hour, right? So it's like, man, man, man. I knew yeah. I was going to miss most of this, so. Well, then you, you miss Olivia and our teacher doing it in the back seat of his car. Well, damn. I knew I missed <laughs> I, 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 I liked it, though, because this one was about, like, uh, Olivia getting interested in, in art. And I like some of the references to mm. art, because as an art guy, I know exactly what they were talking about. But I didn't get to see the last half of the episode, so I'm a little bit pissed off, but oh, well. Well, you can always watch it later. Yes, what I'll have to do, I guess. But I'm guessing uh, eventually the art teacher and Pa got into a fist of cuffs at the end of the episode, and Pa punches lights out. Oh, oh, we'll get we'll get into that that there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah, <laughs> Grandma's not wanting change and stuff. A oh, frog tab. And she says it's a woman's place. Painting lessons and, and talking about being a, a traveling nurse or something. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I want things to be kept exactly the way they have been. Grandma, I've heard you complain before about doing the same thing day after day. Setting the table, doing the chores. It's no different for me. Yeah, she does need change, though. I better not play that means. She just wants so, more of her life, you know. Grandma's saying barefoot, pregnant in the kitchen, right, I'm guessing, pretty much. Well, maybe not barefoot, but yeah, pregnant and in the kitchen. <laughs> Pump well, those kids out. Hey, gotta, yeah, just gotta say it doesn't sound that bad, actually. You know, yeah. toxic. Just remember, talking here. 
pop pop those pop those kids out, out, out ladies that the military industrial complex will thank you so you're saying olivia's uh um reproductive system is like the military industrial industrial complex no 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 pop those kids it just out cranks it out the, the, <laughs> no pop those kids out because the military industrial complex will thank you we need bodies to run, run run the artillery we need bodies to shoot the guns we need, need bodies to fire the missiles yeah but what about all the daughters she's produced like what are they well the red cross them? needs help too so to they're like pick uh, up the wounded they're okay i thought they'd be keeping company to the to the uh to the soldiers if you know yeah. what i mean oh i'll want hey <laughs> yeah one woman can get satisfied a bunch of men in one night so oh, <laughs> here we go <laughs> and you're just saying we're the ones eating super So you're meals. thinking, uh, I, 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 I'm guessing Mary Ellen's probably the oldest, so she'd probably do the servicing. No, she's the nurse. She wants to well, be the nurse. But she could service them and nurse them. Yeah, yeah, but we're time. talking during the war once they're all of age. We're not getting into this <laughs> underage crap. You, you can you can fantasize them about being under underage. We're talking about during war and everybody's above age. Okay, but then <laughs> you're saying Aaron would be legal too. Okay, I get it. Yeah. yeah. And welcome the man of many words, Cody guy. Mm, hey, Cody. <clears throat> By the way, it's first contact Friday. Don't forget that. Oh yeah. So anyhow, <laughs> and she kept asking like funny questions, like, uh, like this here. Hmm? What does this mean? Boy. When two cars come to an intersection, the car to the right has the right of way. To the right of what? You know that, that like I don't. I didn't see why that would need explained. Like it's such an easy question. Yeah, but if you've never driven a car, I guess it would make sense, right? <clears throat> yeah. Because Olivia's totally clueless. Like, she doesn't know anything about cars. It's like, hey, you know, girl, I've had a few times, you know, you, you know what a four-way stop is, right? Yeah, we got them all over the place here. Yeah, we have some here, too. You would be amazed at how some people don't know what a four-way stop is. And it's like, it's not their turn, and they'll just they'll just plow through it anyway because they're idiots, you know. Hey, hey, hey! No, they know the other people will stop. They they don't give a. Sh it's not that they don't know; it's that they don't give a shit. Well, it's like if other people hadn't stopped, there'd be a collision, right? So, like those people are idiots for sure. Well, they'll they'll, <coughs> they'll, be, they'll be like, "We'll see you in court." These it's these people that don't give a shit. They'll just tell you, "See you in court." They're probably, they're probably, excuse me, <clears throat> my throat. Uh, they're probably rich, right? So, yeah. Well, not rich, but the guy sure is a guy, the lawyer. <laughs> Their daddy's paying for it, right? <laughs> well, yo, know, you can. Yeah, they, they probably, they, their lawyers, they don't give a shit. They'll, they'll, they'll talk out of their ass in the courtroom there just to get. Just to get the damn payout. There you, there you go. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, she's just asking a bunch of questions here. And uh, this is funny. Just keep your eye on the needle. Oh, well, yeah. She pinched herself. If the car. Yeah, but then. So, yeah. She's getting all kinds of confused here. Hmm. Yeah. And apparently, she's all gussied up because. Uh, 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 she's going to walk with some guy named Don. So apparently, where the fuck, where uh, the fuck happened to JW? Like, so now she got some new, new man, new guy. You know, it's like she's going with G, or well, I should say, going with GW. But she was always hanging around JW. Well, she just put him in the damn friend zone. Well, I always thought JW is a bit of a, a wimp, wimp anyway, so I don't blame her actually. Uh, well, just because he was a cuck doesn't mean he, mean, mean he was a doesn't mean that she wasn't interested in him. But no. you know, I don't know where the hell this Don came from. They haven't introduced him before. You know, it's like we had two years of JW. Now, now all of a sudden, <laughs> we got a new guy. 
Hey, she's she's starting to fill out now, and then there's more boys getting interested. It's like, hey, that doesn't look bad, you know. Uh. <laughs> I gotta say, if you're going after Mary Ellen, you better get serious and, uh, you know, get some action going. That's what I'm saying. J. Delvey's always yeah. way too polite. He never went. He never made the moves, right? He never made the moves. Yeah. No. No, oh, no chance. Yeah, okay. So apparently, the, the dog guy is going to be a doctor. You know, it's like, okay, the Mary Ellen's going to be a nurse, so it's going to be so convenient here. The car, yeah, they disappeared off the broom closet. Yeah, that's going to be real convenient. What does he mean by convenient? Is is like she's gonna be like she, he's gonna be a doctor, guy? she's gonna be a nurse, so Okay. I'm thinking so, this, but she got pissed off, didn't she at that guy? Like because he thought like you know, women could yeah, not be doctors. Yeah, that will we'll get to that. Okay, I'm back. How many federal watch lists are we on? Probably uh, too many. Oh, uh, no, we're just talking about the dust. Uh, we just had to explain. I had to explain to PVP what I meant by the military industrial complex. Well, thank you for ladies being a baby factory. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for the grinder. Then <laughs> <laughs> uh, PVP was trying to go totally on, uh, trying to figure out which which one is going to be the hooker for the mil for the boys overseas. Okay, oh. so we're on that list now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. At least at least at least I didn't say uh you know, you know uh, uh what's her Eliz at least I didn't mention Elizabeth. Come on, give me some credit. Oh no no <laughs> now that would have been way out of bounds, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going we're, we're we're going past the federal list of that there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're talking Elizabeth, we'd have to move on at least ten years, like at least, right? You know. <clears throat> yeah. Now this was fu funny years. They tell them don't be too late, but they never give them a specific time to be back. So they go off wandering and. The... No, that's that's Sitting actually in front of the quite saying, helpful. Doctor and Mrs. Don Millman, Mister and Mrs. Don Millman, and she kept saying it over and over again. Gosh, she's being so freaking annoying again. Here, yeah, apparently, Olivia didn't learn a lesson from the from the runaway there the last episode. Not paying attention at all to Aaron. Well, don't you think it's disgusting? And nobody's paying attention. Yeah, she just storms off. That's okay. She's not going anywhere. She saw what happened to her brother. Didn't work out for him. She's not going to make the same mistake. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me just ask you our question. Job, I just laughed. I wish I know what they did. And Elizabeth's just not understanding what's wrong. What's wrong with with uh, why does she have to go? You just put pa brush the paper. You call her good. And they're talking. They don't like it and stuff. It's simply just. But here, uh, they're getting dropped off here. <laughs> and she's getting signed up for the classes. There's nothing really to talk about here. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. So this is where he offers a drive. And then we got this here. This is cool. Okay. Push down on the clutch. Push down on the starter button. What's that? Come here. Listen. You stay still. Now, oh man, Grandma's panicky because she is so against. The women learning how to drive. She said the boy, job John could ta take her, or that uh, job one of the boys could take her. You know, she so gets to learn the drive. Hey, well, that she's car actually. Cognizant. What? She's what? She's 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 precognizant. She knew how women drivers are, and she's never seen one before. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, push down on the now this looks a lot more complicated than than like I'd be comfortable driving. 
Yeah, well, you got, I never, I never had any desire to drive a standard like this because yeah, it's too many pedals as far. I, uh, I yeah, just, I don't just think to, you're even old enough for. Oh, well, I, I always had an automatic car, so it was like mm -hmm. automatic is just like gas, yeah. and brake, you know. Well, so, I'm guessing this is the accelerator. That's the clutch. That's up to the starter button. Apparently, you just I don't know what the key did, what the purpose of the key was. The starter well, then you button gotta is up top. Push a bunch of shit too, and if you don't hit it just no. at the right time, you're gonna stall out, right? Yeah. No, this is the starter button right here on the floor. Shouldn't be. I, and I don't know what the hell this bar is for. And one of these, I've got once I guess the stick, a stick, the stick for the transmission. I'm guessing would this be the brake? You got a shift. You got a shift. Yeah, my handbrake. Yeah. But you got a shift too, I believe, right? <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, too much, not too much. Top of bar. Yeah. Personally, I think it'd be more of a pain in the ass than it's worth. I just I prefer an automatic car. That's what I've always had. Yeah. You put it in yeah, drive man. and you just forget the fuck about it and you're all good to go. Yeah, my dad wants to get a five speed just because he gets bored driving. He wants something to do. Uh okay. That's fine. He prefers the stick. Well, I hear some people do prefer the stick, especially certain ladies, so yeah. Okay. These are in the first gear. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so that long bar was the, was the gear. Yeah, I figured. Down on the accelerator and ease it up on the clutch. Ease up on the clutch. <laughs> okay, oh, the my clutch God. Ease it up, ease it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and everybody's like wondering, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell's going on? But I gotta pause it because I want to get the whole thing in, in the one thing, and you know how Warner Brothers is. And Olivia just about lost a couple of kids there. No, watch out! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she's just going all over the pla place. You're just, just driving all over the fucking place. Like she couldn't even keep it on the <laughs> fucking road. That's what the fun of a standard transmission. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. That's why you do that in the middle of the field. I wonder if they actually had Olivia, Olivia drive it, you know, or did they got a stunt driver to do this? I would imagine it was a stunt driver in the long shots. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't see, just for safety reasons. Oh, well, yeah, probably, you know, contractual reasons. Reasons. Yeah, I gotta say, Livy's probably had much more fun between her legs and driving this car. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had seven kids, so. Oh, exactly. That's my point. Watch out for the tree. No, we gotta get her out there. Oh, she had a She almost hit poor Elizabeth. She almost hit so and Elizabeth's well, we, not smart enough to get the fuck out of the way. Well, we wouldn't we wouldn't have to worry about Elizabeth being underage for the next 10 years, uh, would we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Buddy, turn that thing off, John Boy. We're not teaching her right. Well, well, teaching her right, Daddy. This is a whole different thing from the truck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now now there's starting a big old fun fight on this, and Olivia's just listening to fucking bakery and shit. Uh, at least she like didn't total John Boy's ride to college like shit, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why you have her learn the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what's different. I've been driving longer than you've been alive. I know as much about cars as anyone on Walton Mountain. I drove the first one back in oh, 1990. Oh, Grandpa, these new cars are very uh, different from those old I may have forgotten what I knew, but I do know that you're not... Yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I may have forgotten what I knew, but, but yeah, they're, they're sitting there uh, stripping the gears and shit. All right, so yeah, they're fighting here in just one sec. <clears throat> the miracle she learned how to drive at all. Yeah. <clears throat> So it really should have been John teaching her. Yeah. And in the truck. That truck's easier to drive. 
Yeah, I always go simple. Yeah, so anyhow. Uh, does Elizabeth, has Elizabeth always worn coveralls? I don't think she's yeah. ever worn those before. I don't remember her ever wearing that. No, well, just coverall, like just overalls in general. Well, she would have worn a top, like even if she was wearing those. So I've never seen her wearing that, actually. Okay. So, so now they said they're coming back. Who's driving? Hey, girl. It's <laughs> take, take cover. driving. Take cover. Take cover. And get out of the way. <laughs> take, yeah. take cover. <laughs> yeah. Kiss your yeah, ass goodbye. You. Ma's driving. And apparently in a day she's learned how to drive fucking perfectly. Amazing. Well, it says yeah. the Waltons after all, you know. Yeah, and apparently she got her driver's license. So now she's in the class here. Then she gets this good look, this this handsome hunk as her teacher. And she's all enthralled and stuff. So they're doing apples now, and they're, she's just going <laughs> to do some sketches and shit. They're doing apples, I love it. <laughs> he has a perfect look for this role. He looks he, just like fish bait. He does look a lot like a, an art professor, I got to say. I have professors yeah, that kind of look like that. Yeah, well, well, this guy here is supposed to be 26. Mm, he looks a bit older mm. than that. I'd say maybe 32. Yeah. No, but he's 10 years. Yeah. yeah. He's definitely yeah, younger but, than, than Libby, for sure. Yeah, well, we we have established that she that she is uh, between 36 and 38. We, 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 we have established that. And he's supposed to be 10 years younger than her. Or over mm, 10 years younger. Maybe five. I'm guessing. No, they said in the episode he's 10 years younger than her. Okay. I'm not buying into it. Yeah, I think yeah, she's no. a little bit older than 38 then. She may be well, like the, 42, 45. No, no, they've been together. Her and John have been together for 20 years. And they, the, this episode, they mentioned that they, they met when they were 16, but they grew up together. So even yeah. if they say they married at 18... Okay. That that make her thirty. That make her thirty six. So you're like eighteen, and they had seven kids. Do the math on that. Because you're talking about a year between kids. I'm guessing, like you know, give the woman a bit of a break, right? Well, let's see. John Boy's eighteen. You got Mary Ellen, who's like sixteen. You got Aaron, uh -huh. who's like thir 14. 14. You're 30. talking two years apart. She got about a three months off in between each one. Yeah, because you got the no, oh yeah, there's oh yeah, there's Jason and Jim Bob too, or not Jim Bob, Jason to bed. And Elizabeth. Well yeah, well Elizabeth's young because I was going in order, you know, you got like 18, then like 60 and a half, 17. Then you got <laughs> then you got then you got uh Jason. No, it wasn't or was it John Boy Jason then Mary Ellen? Yeah, I gotta John say, Boy Jason Mary Ellen. Kids, you gotta give it more than a decade. Like I'm thinking like twelve years at least. So it, no, they've been together for twenty. That's what I'm saying. That yeah, she'd have to be at least twenty when she stopped pumping out the kids, right? Yeah. Well, Elizabeth's only like seven or eight at the most. Okay. So that's so it, a lot of so kids. It's about twelve years. It took about twelve years for all of them to for all out. seven kids. Talk about a baby factory, Jesus! Yeah, the, the military industrial complex thanked them, thanked them because all all of them go to war. All Wasn't, of them. That must have been nice back in the day when a guy could just like crank out babies with a woman, and she was like happy to do it. Like, wow, bet we wouldn't see that happening anymore. Well, we don't. We don't in this need, society, we you have no need for for seven eight kids anymore because they all well, most of them survive. If you make it, if they get bored, there's a not like a ninety percent chance they're going to survive, and you don't need them to work the farm no more because you got machinery for that now. Well, that's true. Back then, you will, however, will be needed to 
sacrifice for the glory of the empire. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not quite there yet. We're a couple seasons away from that, but you know. Yeah. So the the uh, the the prof here definitely has. Uh, he's thinking of making some moves on <laughs> Olivia, is he not? Yeah. Not yet. But yeah, and then a toilet paper. And she talks about she paid in the wall, mountain once, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Yeah. John's just sitting here all bored. Are they listening? Oh, they're waiting up for Mary Ellen. And Olivia's talking about her art class and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, here's he, he's a yeah, he's just a baby. Okay, so she's just sketching, blah 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 blah. And here we go. Sorry, Dave, time just flew by. Marilyn Don is a nice boy, but nine o'clock is your bedtime on weekdays. We're working people, honey, and school is your work. Yeah. <laughs> Mary so, Ellen. What, what, so what do you think Ellen. she came home about nine thirty or ten or ten thirty? Uh, I think I'm 11 or 12. 11. Like, yeah. Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen, you slut you. No, they're just talking. But, <laughs> no, but. Uh, <sighs> no, yeah, I'm she sure. knows no, that. Uh, I'm sure she's more, still pure. John has heart. a good collection of shotguns. Yeah, no, but uh, no, I can see, see it being <laughs> 10 o'clock, then wait, wait up, or even 10 30, but not 11 o'clock or midnight yet. Oh, I say if she got it, home at midnight, she'd be getting her she'd be getting her ass whipped. I'm I'm guessing. Yeah, hey, 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 if it was midnight, Don would be you'd be seeing Don, Don getting walked home with a shotgun up his ass. <laughs> that would be that'd be difficult to walk with a shotgun up your ass, actually. Actually. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry, John will be guiding up. <laughs> oh boy. That does kind of suck, though, when your kids start to hit those teenage years. It's like, oh, fuck. I didn't think about this. I should have thought about this when I was making the damn kids, right? Yeah, yeah not too much longer, and you'll have that joy, Gorilla. Stock up on heart medication. Yeah, just think about it, Gorilla. You're going to have to be John Walton one of these days soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do it if you don't get enough sleep. Oh, at my age, I don't need much sleep. Yeah, she just walks away. She Whoa. Just, she, she can back talk him and just walks away. They don't even say anything. I will have gotten my ass whooped for that. I will have gotten so my she, ass whooped for that. She don't need much sleep. Is that saying she can like be in bed and she doesn't need to sleep? It's like, whoa, baby. Uh. But my age, I do. No, yeah. yeah, well, when I was young, younger, I I could be out partying and drinking at four o'clock, four o'clock to be up at six o'clock to go to work. So, <laughs> oh hell yeah, I I know what you mean. Yeah, me too. By the way, John yeah. said, at my age, I need to sleep, and he's like, hint, yeah. hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, yeah. uh, Olivia. <laughs> no. What are you doing? I don't think he's wanting to sleep with her, though. So, like, well, he'll sleep with her, but yeah, you, you yes. know what I mean by sleep with her. Long <laughs> anyway. Sutures. So, uh, uh, they're, so they're talking about sutures for what? How many fucking hours? Oh, no, I don't get it. I would not buy that line one bit. I'd be like, oh, okay, something it's, else. It's like something she's happened. Named- She's name dropping sutures or something. I don't know. I gotta say though, if Mary if Mary Ellen had a better personality, she wouldn't be half bad. But you know, she's just kind of annoying. Oh yeah, I'll take I'll take your Mary Ellen and raise you an eared. I'm not going to even touch that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I might, all I might go days. to hell if I touch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> I might, I might get a, I might get a weird Mary Ellen, but I'm definitely going to hell if I touch Aaron. <laughs> oh no, you still go to hell for Mary Ellen. 
Oh, she's right. Oh, Either way, John will send you there with some buckshot. <laughs> oh my God! Here we go. You know, I don't know what it is with these Walton streams, gorilla, but when we get on here, we're like back in high school, right? It's like hey, you're the one instigating it tonight. <laughs> Somebody has to. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. Oh, it's just a sec. Just a sec. Oh, man. Oh, man. We may have to expand the disclaimer at the bottom. (laughs) 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 Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my! Oh man! Oh, man. <coughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck. All right, well, here so. we go with another good one. I wanted to show you something. It's like, oh Jesus! What does he yeah, want to show her? So anyhow, she she's gonna she's gonna show him the paint paint in the mountain. He says it's pretty good, and she's telling him about life back on the mount mountain and stuff. Oh, yeah, she's been working on it. They think it could be a lot better. Of course, it's good. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Make time. And, and he's telling her to make time, and she goes, I don't have the time. I got family for you. He's going to do the cleaning. Here's what well, we're passionate about making. This day, this year, I thought he was a total fucking dick. Dick. dick to, you know, it's like they, they, they name shop uh, what's his fucking face there. That went to Tahiti, apparently, that painted scantily clad women in Tahiti. I can't remember. You're you're talking about Gauguin? Gauguin? Yeah. I think it was Gauguin. Yeah, Yeah, she dropped that she she had seven children, and any man would be like, whoa, whoa, I'm out, I'm out, I'm done, I'm out. (laughs) They didn't plan to stick around that long. Well, oh, uh, it's one thing if they're your own kids. They're another thing if they're someone else's kids. Well, I think any woman that has seven kids, I'd I'd probably just give it a pass. You know, that's just me, but that's a yeah. lot of kids. He's just planning to be that week <laughs> weekly trip she takes, where yeah, there's class, but there's something else. He wants to be that extra weekend credit, the extra credit in class. Yeah, that yeah. weekend party boy that they hook up at a cheap motel or something if there is such a thing in Walton's Mountain. What are you talking about? Everything's cheap on the mountain. So they have a cheap motel on the mountain? Wow, hmm. I didn't know. Well, there's probably one in Charlottesville. So does Zyke know about this? He's like, oh yeah, you want a cheap motel to hook up? I can I can uh, give you directions to that. Like. It's like fifty cents, fifty cents a night. Like, go for it, you know. Fifty cents. That's like, that's like a, that's over a hundred bucks. It, that's Is highway it, freaking robbery. Okay, it's five cents a night. I don't fucking remember nineteen thirties money. Fuck. Well, let's see. If we're going by fifty. 50 it's five cents and, and a wink. How about that? <laughs> no, now we're doing. Now, now, we're, now we're, we're doing the math here. 50, 50 cents. Do five cents. That's probably more accurate. 35. It's like $8 million, right? <clears throat> no, wait. You're, oh, that is a very cheap hotel. <laughs> That's paid by the hour rates right there. <laughs> That's 11 bucks and 45 cents. That's almost paid by the hour. Well, I was talking yeah. for the whole night, but cheaper than yeah. paid by the hour. Yeah, <laughs> paid it by the hour is like 50, 60 bucks. Well, then you might as well stay the whole fucking night. That's what that'd be four hundred. Because the hell, I stayed. A, I stayed. A, we we ended up uh, getting booked into a hotel that was thirty nine ninety nine a a a night, and that was well, that was six years ago. You can't find anything that cheap out here. 
Oh, no, this was definitely a hooker motel because I verified. I seen the hooker. <laughs> you, you, you verified the Just hooker? at your price range. No, oh, hell, hell no. No, she, you can see her going door to door to door, door as we're waiting in the parking lot pitching at HR for setting us, setting us up in those. Because uh, if I would know the price of this motel <laughs> and this location, I would not have agreed to go until they got to a different hotel because it was thirty nine ninety nine a night. It, right now, you're in a major city. You're in the you're in Kansas City, and you're you're next to a major interstate that runs through there, and you're next to one of their biggest attractions. And you're telling me it's thirty nine ninety nine that month. Then when it comes to find out that the lady who runs HR down in Kansas, there, she uh, she uh, she used to work at that Worlds of Fun or Oceans of Fun. Whenever they brought the foreign exchange students that, or foreign exchange workers and, and for the summer from like all these like Eastern European and Africa and stuff, that's where they set them up. I was like, well, yeah, that's a luxury motel compared to the shitholes that they, they're probably used to. So, so you, yeah. you, you when you were at the thirty nine ninety nine motel, you didn't <laughs> check out the hookers at Tall Gorilla. Like, oh fuck no! But I did tell I did tell the supervisor down there that if they're gonna set up in a hooker motel, they could at least they could do was pay for one. Well, I think if you're staying yeah. at a hooker motel, you might as well sample the merchandise, right? You know? Oh hell, not these ones, not <laughs> these ones. <laughs> oh, oh, they were the they were more like they were more like sixty nine cent hookers, is what you're saying, right? <laughs> oh. They, <laughs> <laughs> these are oh, these, these these are the hookers that 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 the next morning you're go, you're looking at them you're going I should have just masturbated. These are the hookers <laughs> that come with a free dose of penicillin. I'm guessing, right? Oh, oh fuck! These ones the penicillin would do a damn thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. uh, just. Uh, <laughs> Sure. Just think, some poor bastard uh, wanted to watch the Waltons, and, and he's listening to us talk about hookers. Gorilla, <laughs> yeah. oh. you must be talking out your ass, because I know your mouth knows better. Damn it, Gorilla, get back on track. I got shit to do today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeremy, you can utilize those at any time. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Meanwhile, back, back at the art school. Yeah. Well, there's no hookers, so so that anyhow. <laughs> no, Olivia, Olivia hasn't got to that point yet, so let's give her credit. Yeah. Uh, so anyhow, now James, that's where we learned about the Tahiti thing. So he wants to try to get her a cup of coffee, and here we got them talking. And Mary Ellen, it's time to come in. Wait a minute, Grandma. Mary Ellen, it's late. I'll be right in. God, she, they, they put up with a lot of back talk with her. You know how many times I would gotten popped in the mouth for the way, for talking back to my parents? Like, I would literally gotten popped in the mouth for that. At the first sign you. of resistance, it would have been, get inside. Yeah. Yeah, because she, yeah, I will got, the, no, Mary Ellen's so always been that way, isn't she? I don't know about she's that. She's always been I think a your stubborn girl. Part. Yeah. And now he's trying to kiss ass by saying that, you know, Grandma's right. You know, and Mary, yeah. Ellen, and Mary Ellen just thinks she's old-fashioned. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, but... He's, he's playing it for future advantage. He's like, well, I might kiss you tonight, but I'm going to expect more next time, sweet stuff. Oh. What are you looking after? Well, Don, if I'm going to be a doctor... You mean nurse. I've changed my mind. Mary Ellen, why are you trying to compete with me? God, God that escalated quickly. Like, Oh, that's a way to kill the f fucking relationship. How's that How's that compete, Petey, by her wanting to be a doctor? It doesn't, but he's just doesn't think... Well, let's face it, back in the 30s, there weren't too many lady doctors. Like, you know, it was no. a thing, right? And there weren't multi doctor practices. Literally, and, you know, they'd have I to could... go to a major city to practice within anywhere near close distance to each other. Yeah, I can understand him being 
not accepting of the idea, you know, definitely. Mary Ellen has different ideas, of course. Yeah. And to be fair, her wanting to be a doctor is solely because she doesn't want to be subservient. Yeah. Mary, Mary Ellen is quite strong willed, I must agree. Even to the point of being uh, obnoxious at times. Mary Ellen. Just a minute, Grandma. Listen, Don Millman, let me tell you something. I'm I not the least bit interested in competing with right you. Now. I can be just as good a doctor as you, if not better. As far as I'm concerned, you can just go jump in a lake. Oh, <laughs> geez. She broke, she broke, uh, broke up with him just for that. Just because of that. Yep. Hey, she's got her own mind. I don't blame her. Like, power to her. If she wants to be a doctor, let her be a fucking doctor, you know? She doesn't want to be a doctor. She's a she's always been an obstinate, you know, bitch anyway in the show, right? So it's like, that's totally in character for Mary Ellen. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, you can tell Grandma's being... I was probably just, Grandma actually put up with her back talking the way she was. She should have had Gra Zeb come out out and pull... Yank her ass in and take her over his knee. Well, Zeb's, uh, Zeb's upstairs drinking some of that whiskey before Grandma gets there. Uh, if she should have had Zeb there just polishing one of the hunting rifles. <laughs> yeah, but what did happen? Wouldn't that be? In it. Well, wouldn't that be John's duty to do that? Should be. Uh, John's a little busy with the wife. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going there. Oh, Grandma, why do you have to keep yelling at me? Don and I are trying to have a serious conversation. Because it's late and I need my sleep. Well, why don't you go to bed? Yeah. Hey, she has a point. Just go to fucking bed. Absolutely nothing will, won't happen. We we won't go out behind the chicken coop or nothing. That is a good <laughs> point, actually. It's not like Mary Ellen's going to like spread it, you know? So, like, yeah. Well, if Zeb was out there cleaning the gun, absolutely no chance of that happening. No, yeah, it's just not that type. Like she's, she's gonna have to really like a guy to like go go to that step. Oh, well, it's not about her. It's about the guy. You ever know well, Zeb? The guy's didn't get a tool. Much, you know Zeb didn't get much to do in this episode this year week. Seems like it. He's yep. all invisible, actually. He's slowly and slowly stepping back because I think his health was slowly and slowly starting to go. They didn't want to put too much on. Well, it's still three years away before he died. I think it's just a script. It's just a storyline. They did. They didn't need the character, right? So. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't see all of it, so I can't uh, speak with any authority on that. Yeah. Because it's not proper for you to be out there with a young man without a grown person waiting up until he's left. Well, I don't know who's more <laughs> old-fashioned, you or Don. I'm a grown person capable of making my own decisions. Well, not to me, you're not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so funny when you're young like that, you think you're old enough, you know, the you know, the the parents or the grandparents still think you're you as babies and stuff. Yeah. And inevitably, your parents and grandparents are right. Because when you let that line get blurred, that's when some young man ends up with a bullet in his chest. Or when some young lady ends up with a bun in her oven. Oh, come on. It's just the two. Well, that, that's why he had the bullet in his chest. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just tip, huh? <laughs> I gotta say, I feel very sorry for the poor bastard that knocks Mary Ellen up, though. It's like, oh, man, I would not want to knock up Mary Ellen. It's like, you'd never hear the end of bitching, 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 bitching. Just saying. Oh, she, she grows out of it. <laughs> probably, probably like a few years after you said, fuck this, and you left. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Uh. In just a few years, I'm going to be a doctor. A what? A doctor. Whatever are you talking about, Mary Ellen? Well, I've decided that the real medical world is doctoring, not nursing. There is no such thing as a lady doctor. Oh, my God. She she challenged. She's doing the challenge. She's doing the fucking challenge, at least. <laughs> I there thought Mary Ellen... Name. She wanted to be a Hollywood movie star last week, didn't she? 
Yeah, yeah. last season. But she's getting more realistic now. With her, <coughs> okay. uh, dreams and aspirations. <coughs> she's growing up. Yeah, because you can't have those dreams forever. Yeah, she's gone from the absolutely ludicrous to the almost one in a million. She ain't going to be a doctor. John Boy's the bright one, not her. Well, I think she might like to play doctor with the right guy, but yeah. All right, so. One. Dr. Marie Curry, Dr. Clara Swain, <laughs> Dr. Alice Hamilton, Dr. Emily Ooh. dunning Berenger, Dr. Mary. Well, hopefully, by the time you're grown up, that sort of thing will have stopped happening. Now, will you please go to bed? I think Grandma's very old-fashioned here, though. Oh, yeah, she is being very old-fashioned here. Then, after Grandma walks and closes the door. And Dr. Mary Ellen Walton, M.E. Walton, M.D. What the fuck? What's the uh, any uh, medical examiner Walton medical doctor? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Okay. So, yeah. Sass pants. And then here they're sitting for coffee and shit. This is, yeah, this is. Yeah, talking about that, other people there. I think this is where I didn't see the rest because my internet guy was connecting all the fucking cables. And I had no internet to watch the, the last half. So, yeah, I'll have to go. I'll have to go with your uh, awesome, like, uh, stills from here on, Gorilla. All right. So, yeah, they're just talking about there that, well, that was, there's some lady that moved to Paris and shit. And it's like, uh, John was, a, she hasn't been to Paris, but John has. And John was there during the, well, she mentioned John was there during the armistice there. And so, which makes sense there because, uh, well, you guys are sit, sitting there duking out as so Americans had to cut. Co- co- Come clean up your guys' mess. <laughs> well, what 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 years yeah. were the armistice? I'm forgetting. That was between the first, first and second world wars. Yeah, the 19, was... 19, 19, 1918, November 11th at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918 okay. was the signing of the armistice. So it was just yeah. after World War One. The armistice okay. period was like two years, I believe. Yeah, it was. Pretty good times for a couple of years, and then it all went to shit again, right? Yeah. Well, it went to shit in twenty nine. So no, but John John was there there there, there uh, during and right after the after the war. Interesting. You, you know, we might not have had to come had to come over there at the bridge. We know how to how to build a damn tank. Because that's what cha- that's what changed everything. There was uh, the British had a bunch of tanks, but the problem was they. They run out of gas before they get get past no man get halfway through no man's land and strand the guys out in the middle of no man's land. The but British we, did, the British did a lot better in World War Two with the tanks because that's one of the things. Well, that's because we too. that's because we went and redesigned them. And, you know, we we managed to pr- get our tanks across the no man's land, and the Germans had to keep pushing back. We pushed the Germans back uh, quite a few hundred. Quite a few few dozen miles there. There, well, I I think the thing was in World War Two that the, the 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 you know the Germans had way more sophisticated tanks like the Panzer tanks and all that shit, way more sophisticated yeah, technology, I'm, but they didn't have the numbers right. Like I yeah. think World well, I'm War talking II, World War One. <laughs> okay, I, I I skipped to World War Two like. In World War II, the British had like the Sherman tanks, I think it was. And that's Americans. The the Sherman's yeah. American na- named after the uh, General Sherman from the Civil War, who went and burnt the and burnt the, burnt everything in Georgia from sea to sea, where he went pillaging and pillaging oh, yeah. and burning everything. Yeah, that was cool. I like Sherman. He was like he's a badass. I like that. But didn't didn't the British build a lot of those tanks like over in Britain? Because you know, obviously, it's it's no, they the built they, they're the ones building the planes. Most of the English tanks were built over here. They subcontracted it out because most of their production w- went to aviation, and 
basically being targets for the loose waffle. Basically, though, it was, it was numbers, right? I mean, the Allies just outnumbered, you know, the Axis power. Well, that's numbers, and there were some technical disadvantages to German designs. Well, the German yeah. designs are co so complex, I'm not surprised there were problems, yeah. Well, not yeah. only that, they, they get, every time they take over a country, they incorporated all their military vehicles in, into their military thing. So they, by the time they got, uh, the, they're retreating from Russia there, they had over 2,000 different vehicles in their <laughs> thing. Can you just imagine the logistics on that? First, uh. the Americans, we just sent 50,000 Shermans over there Said have her at her, so all we need was the exact same take parts to replace. Well, that's it. Just just send over a multi multiplication of basic tanks to get the job done, and fuck the complexity, right? Which is what what the what the Allies basically did yeah. at that point. Oh, uh, yeah. well, you mentioned Russia. Like that was Hitler's fatal mistake. Is like he did have a pact, I believe, with Stalin to not like a non-aggression pact, and then yeah. he said. Fuck that. I'm just going to tax Stalin anyway for the fuck of it. Send all his troops in there. Uh, well, which they, they all froze to death in the middle of fucking winter, if I remember correctly. Well, well, they, well he wanted the Cox's oil there, but if you're impressed by the Panzer and the Tigers, sir, you should look up the rat tanks. From, they're like 11 tons of that, but but it, <laughs> anyhow. Yeah, Gorilla, get back on track. I got shit to do today. <laughs> we got... <laughs> There's some 30s Waltons uh, happening somewhere here. Yeah. And they so, confused by her uh, professor. Yeah. So basically, they're just talking about all this shit, you know. And, <laughs> and apparently, John, she's going to be going to some museum in, in Richmond there. And John has something to do there. He's going to. Actually, I think I did so, see that. But, maybe, maybe I saw more of this episode than I remembered. Yeah, I, I remember that part. <clears throat> yeah, but anyhow, so John, he, John Boy's going to give him a ride, ride to school. Or John's going to give John Boy a ride to school. And and, uh, and uh, Olivia's going to take John Boy, or <laughs> John Boy's car, to see the, the Richmond. They're going to be back there, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it's gonna be one time. Drive careful, blah 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 blah. <laughs> They're talking about that famous painter in Tahiti who drives scantily clad women and stuff. Go 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 gun. Yeah, they're taking home as a woman's place, blah blah blah. And Mary Ellen, she's talking. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, three minutes. And she can uh, fix her problem. Yeah. So, yeah, now you got this old lady here. Her legs that swell up, walking all day in the museum. Are we the only ones going? Oh, wait, that's not the scene I wanted to show. So, yeah, they're they're talking about Miss Walton's plan and going. Then here. Back between these two lovely ladies, if you don't mind. <laughs> mind? No, sir. <laughs> I haven't had a date like this for almost 30 years. So is he trying to say he had, he had a three cylinder thirty years ago? <laughs> is I that what he's playing? I uh, hope it was thirty years ago for him. That or he hasn't gotten out of the house in thirty years. Unless he, <laughs> unless he really likes older women, I don't know. Hey, sometimes older women ain't that bad. So <laughs> uh, I haven't met one lately, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Yeah. So anyhow, they're all off, and then they're talking. You know, I can't believe that. And she's pointing out the different things. You know, blah blah blah. This is a boring scene. Nothing really to talk about. They're just talking about the paintings here. And here's the here. I got some trivia for you, uh, PVP. Uh, among the paintings viewed by Olivia at the art museum are Howard the Homeward Bound by von, Hans von Peterson. Who is from 1850-1914? Still Life with Red Onions by Paul Cezanne. 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 Paul Cezanne. He was actually a very famous painter back then. Yeah. 1839-1906. A Holiday by Edward Henry Pottis 
1857 and 1927. Uh, the lovers. Pop, uh, you're talking Pablo Picasso, I believe. There. This one, yeah, the lovers is Pablo Picasso, and breezing up a fair wind by Winslow Homer. Winslow Homer, yep, those are all very famous artists, actually. Damn, that's pretty damn good uh, selection of paintings for a, a smaller town. Well, I like think they're just going. For, this is Richmond. Yeah, still, that's like not you know, it's not like New York or something, right? So that's pretty good. At say. the time, it's one of the top five cities in the country. It's bigger so, than anything on the uh, past the Mississippi. Th those are yeah. <clears throat> definitely a selection of very top artists. I gotta say. Yeah, well, this is uh, yeah, this is Richmond here. It's the capital of Virginia, and the, and it's right now it's close to D.C. for all the politicians. To, uh, but here's another thing: it said uh, at the museum, Olivia reads aloud from the exhibit labeled next to the painting. This one's by someone called Winslow Homer, eighteen seventy two. The painting, obviously a poorly cropped print, is called "Breezing Up a Fair Wind." It depicts cat cat boats called the Gloucester chopping through the city's harbor under a fair wind. Homer's original title inside the boat are men, three boys, and their catch. The painting was begun in 1873, not 1872, as Louis says, and was completed in 1876. And fair re reflectivity has revealed and, and, that. Infrared, infrared. Yeah, infrared re reflectivity. Or re reflectography has revealed that many changes he made to the competition during this time include the removal of the fourth boy near the mass and a second scooter in the distance. Yeah, that's that's happened throughout art history where uh, an artist will go in and uh, paint over something later on to alter the painting. I mean, that's a pretty common thing, actually, girl. Yeah, and they're trying to say this was a factual error, but I don't buy it. It said an art exhibit at a major museum like the one Olivia attends would be more focused on co and consistent instead of featuring works from such disparate art movements as Impressionism, Marine Art, American Realism, and Neoclassicism. -classic Classicism. I could see that. It, it is, but I mean, fuck, I don't know. It's the Wallens, right? So. I didn't yeah. have a big deal with it. I th I think they're just going for uh what what name's popular that people would know. Yeah. Probably they well they probably, would definitely have a variety like that. Back in the thirties, probably most people would have no fucking clue about any of those artists, actually, to be honest, guys. I mean, I only know about these artists because they studied you know art history for four years at college. So they're all familiar names to me because I've I've studied their art, but back in the mid thirties, like fuck, I'm amazed they'd even show this stuff to, to people back then. Yeah. They're probably I don't think the most people would have gallery. a clue about I don't think most people would have a clue about these artists, to be honest, guys. Yeah. So anyhow, they're just going through there looking at them, blah blah blah. Oh, uh, the art's the art's great, but I don't think most people would be aware of it back at that in that time period, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm not. No. I'm not sure. Because he he was not in like Smithsonian quality place. He's still just a night school teacher from some podunk town. He ain't gonna be able to afford to go to anything too big. So they're probably at a smaller secondary gallery. Well, it all depends on how rich his parents were. Maybe he has daddy's money. I gotta say though, when you got artists like Picasso in there, you're talking some pretty major artists even back then. Like, you know, so I don't know if it's a secondary gallery. They've they've definitely got some major artists on display there. Well, I think I think what the show writers were doing was like, all right, what names will the people recognize, and just put a list of them, and we'll put the <laughs> we'll put replica paintings up. I it's guarantee quite, you. Yeah, it's quite possible, actually, Gorilla. Yeah. yeah. That or whatever prints we have laying around the studio. Yeah, that, that that's probably more, that's probably closer to it to it than the, than that. There. 
Anyway, it's not really about the art. It's about the uh, professor and Olivia's interactions here, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he, he, she's pointing something out and he, he has to go mansplain to her. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely into uh, into Olivia, even though he it's not what he should be because it's improper. But yeah, uh, he likes her. Let's face it, he likes her a lot. You know. Yep. Maybe a little too much there. Well, uh, don't let John, John don't let Pa know about this. <laughs> You might have to oil that shotgun up after all. Hey, what are you talking about? John always keeps it. John has a teenage daughter. What are you talking about? It's already oiled. There you go. So, so here you got John. John just sitting up. <laughs> just waiting. Nice, nice music. About my beating you in a game of checker. Tonight you probably could, Bob. <laughs> Let's go at it. Checkers, yeah. No, for once, they're where they're supposed to be. Uh, no, I thought that was funny. Except for once, that they're, they're actually where they're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, where where so, the uh, fuck are they? Where the fuck are they? The rest of the time, right? Yeah. So then they're playing there, and I remember playing got, checkers. Uh, yeah. I used to play checkers with my granddad. Actually, fuck, I'm old. Yeah, but anyhow, uh. Uh, Elizabeth wants to finish The Little Mermaid, which I didn't even think was published at this time, but anyhow. It was published a great deal earlier. Disney yeah. copied it. Okay. Well, That's anyhow, another she thing goes, Disney ripped off. Well, you can't, you can't rip, it, rip, rip something off. It's, it's in the public domain. Well, you can take the public domain and rip it off and make it copyrighted because you changed a bit. Yeah, but anyhow, we're not going to get in a copyright discussion tonight. That's, but anyhow, uh, she she Liz, that book's too complicated for Elizabeth to read, so she asked John Boy, and John Boy's like, uh, "Have uh, you or have, wait for Mama to read it?" And she's like, "She's not home yet." Blah blah blah, blah blah blah. <laughs> so John Boy ends up reading it to her, and she'll just tell him about what happens later. That's pretty much how all this was. Then the one thing is, uh, John asked him if he <coughs> right here. In trouble with the car. Maybe I ought to drive into Charlottesville. Well, you know, Libby well enough. She's in any real trouble. She'd ask for help. She closed her eyes. Your move. Well, anyhow, he asked uh, John Boy if he knows how to change the tire. Blah blah blah. He made the mistake. Stay here, we got this here. Uh, keep going. You know that I escort you ladies oh, home. Oh, oh, good night. Good night. Yeah, so they all say good night and here they're talking. It's a wonderful day. I think it was probably the most exciting day of my life. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! She all, move. All of a she's looking like, what the fuck did you just do? Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey. You're my pro professor, not my lover. I can totally understand that she's like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is where she should have hit him. Well, she should have at least told him that's not what's going to happen ever again. And then she could knee him in the balls, I would agree. Well, the, well, the thing is, he knows that she's married and stuff, so... And with seven Ain't kids, care. for fuck's sakes, right? It's like, come on, dude. Like, Jesus. He don't want anything to do with her family life. He just wants to be there on the weekend. Well, uh, I don't th I think he's misread uh, Olivia very badly if he's thinking that. Because Olivia's mm -hmm. not that kind of lady. Yeah. She didn't even cuss him out. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah. Well, you'll feel different when you find yourself all alone at the end of the day with nothing to do but read a lot of books about diseases. Grandma, if women went along with that, they'd be doing nothing but folding clothes for the rest of their lives. <laughs> That's a good point, you actually. Hurry if you're go yeah, yeah, it's so, not a smart thing to tell two ho career housewives. No, yeah, but it's a, well, good, it's, a good, 
it's a good comeback against grandma i think it's like we don't want to just fold clothes forever like some women well, a little bit more than that well it's a good way to get get you taken across her knee but Maybe she, maybe Mary Ellen's getting a little too old for spanking. She's too, a little but, too heavy. I I, well, yeah. that would be too heavy. She's moving from that spanking part to the just straight beating part. I wouldn't mind seeing Mary Ellen get spanked, actually, to be honest, though. Like, that might be fun. Just saying. Uh, I ain't touching that <laughs> one. I, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to our to our FBI agent, that is oh, listening. Man. I am not having any part of that that thought process. <laughs> <laughs> he's Canadian. He's not our responsibility. <laughs> I refuse all responsibility for what I say. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, my God. oh boy, we are. I I don't know what it is. We do these wall streams just like I'm back in high school again. Sorry, girl, but you know. yeah, you're extra worse than I. <laughs> So anyhow, she's not going back in here. <laughs> Grandma's a real buzzkill, I gotta say. Yeah, right here. This is what I want to show. <laughs> All right. He's just sitting there in silence, just pondering over what the heck he's gonna say. Because he knows he, she's going to tell him what happened, but he, he just doesn't know what happened yet. He's just going to sit there and wait. Joshua Williams is more interested in me than he should be. I thought you said That's he's just That's a nice a way to put it. He's 10 years. Yeah. He is younger than I am. Yeah, see, they're 10 years. I mm -hmm. guess a stretch, maybe. Well, I don't think they got the. I don't think the actors exactly have to match. This kind of got to do the look, and if they, yeah, it's not like she got his birthday, right, gorilla? So yeah. yeah. It's just that he seems so attracted to me. He wants you. You're a beautiful woman. Uh, I and right here at this point, I can't tell if uh, John's jealous or, or if he's just like, okay, what's the? He's contemplating murder. No, he doesn't know what happened yet, though. Yeah, but he's saying, like, you're hot. I get it. You're hot. That's why we had seven kids together. Like, I get it. You're beautiful. So I don't he, think he's putting it. He's not connecting the dots yet, I'm guessing. No, he's no, jumping to something a little worse. And he's, I, okay, how am I going to get the buckshot into this guy and what am, am I going to do with the body afterward? I think well, it was more in buckshot at this point. Well, sure, I'm pretty sure Sheriff Briggs will uh, help him dispose <laughs> of the body. <laughs> well, I'm sure he has experience with that, yeah. <laughs> I could almost guarantee Sheriff Briggs would all help him. So, she's beautiful and You've dealt with men who looked at you before or were attracted to you? Well, not quite this way. And he's like, oh, fuck. What he's like, what well, the did he, what did he do? Come on, I, bitch. I Fill up like, the details. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. If it's bothering you, live. Maybe we'll bring it out in the open. There you go. That day we went to Richmond to the museum. We had such fun together. And, well, I was vaguely aware that he was attracted to me, but I, I didn't think it would go any further than that. That was your first mistake. You always keep your damn guard up. So uh, is, up pa, is Pa thinking, oh, shit, he, did he hike your dress up at that point? Or, like, hopefully not. Yeah. So. Did it? <laughs> he kissed me. 
Do what? Well, it wasn't planned. I mean, we really were having such a good time looking at the pictures and everything, and and then we drove back to Charlottesville, and he walked me to the car, and it happened. At this point, John should have got stood up, grabbed the shotgun, and go. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be home soon. Well, he's, I love the expression on John's face here because he's obviously quite pissed off. Like, I don't remember John Walton looking this pissed off too often in the show, but he's obviously not a happy camper at this point. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is that guy doing with my wife? It's like, fuck that That's guy. That's where he went from just fairly pondering the idea of getting rid of this professor to, okay, I need three shells of buckshot. I'm going to need to call the sheriff to help me dispose of this. And <laughs> we're going to have to go up to this particular mountain pass to get rid of it. Yeah. But now, who who do you think he would call to help dispose of the body? Yancey, Ike, or Sheriff Briggs? All three. I could <laughs> say all three. I could say that they'd all help. It'd be an interesting Saturday afternoon for him. That would be a very special episode of the Waltons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Pa's definitely pissed, though. Like, that expression <laughs> says it all. I think he was hey, more Pop. surprised than I was. Hello, Pop. Hey, Pop, how's it going? Uh, how's your night going? Hope you're feeling well. Yeah, but yeah, he, but he should have got been up and standing up already, grabbing the shotgun. What'd you do? <laughs> well, I got in the car and came home. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm glad I wasn't there. I don't like you being bothered like that. He bothered? He should have. I think the 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 teacher should be glad that John wasn't there, or else he'd be getting decked one. Uh, yeah, he probably would rough him up before he shot him. <laughs> well, I'm not going back to the class, so there's no need worrying. <laughs> I don't know why not. You enjoying yourself, having fun. And see that this is the part of the episode that bugged me right there. She she doesn't want to go back, so that way John John has nothing to worry about, nothing can happen again, you know. But yeah, he's encouraging her to go back to the scene where she got a well, where where the guy who's trying to almost destroy her marriage. That part is the part where it just started pissing me off. Just have a I, talk with this fella. Tell him how what PVP? I just got to think that Pa has uh, a trust and faith in his wife, and she, I think he's given her credit like she can deal with it, uh, you know, because she's an adult. That's what I'm guessing. Well, it's not the it's not the dealing with it. It's the fact that the guy still he doesn't care that she's married. No, but I'm sure Olivia can set him straight, right, if she puts her mind to it, like, quite quite easily. It's like, you know, fuck off, <laughs> basically. Well, if she wanted to set him straight, all she needed to do was knee him right in the balls. Well, it's the Walton, so I'm sure it'd be a little more subtle than that, but... Oh, no, we've, yeah. seen, we've, had, we've seen people get hit in the Waltons before. Hit in the Waltons? <laughs> Is yeah, that a new no, word we, for balls? <laughs> hit in the Waltons? <laughs> no, no, we... No, we see we see John Boy getting fist fights. We see, I think we see John hit someone before. Oh, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Pa has faith in Olivia that they've been together and they've made seven children together, and he trusts her to, you know, not be tempted by some strange guy, you know, just because she has a interest in, in in art like the professor has. And she's going to set him straight. I, I, uh, that's what I think Pa's saying here. Yeah, but that's awful humanitarian of him. I think Pa's just that kind of guy. He's like, I trust you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna 
put this clown back where he belongs is what I'm saying. Hmm. No, I, yeah, but you, but you I still want to bury the body. Yeah. Well, it's one of those you want to take the temptation of anything happening away from it there. You know, it's, it's, it's not like you have someone assaults you, then you go and put them in a room together, together there for it with the off chance it might happen again. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens for the rest of the episode, won't we? Yeah. So, anyhow. Well, oops. Now you feel it. You can go back. So young. Really. If I don't go back to the class, he'll get the point. Liv, it's not like you to back off before something's settled. Yeah, and then the rest is just, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the worst thing is when you avoid something, instead of facing it, you're probably going to make it worse. At least that's what I believe. They had to go the nonviolent route for this, I understand, for TV. But anything realistic, uh, the professor is going to end up with at least two or three broken bones and a concussion. Yeah. Well, they could have shown a fight, a fight, and then uh, like showed the guy apologizing at the end, and you know, the him and John uh, settling it up over some beers or something. <laughs> You're saying like an arm wrestle and some beers? No, not a wrestle. Yeah, John beating the shit out of him, and they uh, they get into a bigger, <laughs> bigger fight, and then they settle it over beers. They finish it off over beers. Oh well. Well, uh, they could have gotten away with it, it there because we've seen the fights before. And we have to drink it on the show, so I get the yeah. feeling that's not where we're headed here. Actually, Olivia seems to think it was kind of nice. It's like, oh, it was flattering. Like, mm. well, <laughs> well, no, now that she knows that John's not going to go kill him, she finds she's a bit it's a little flattering. And she'll think about it, blah, blah, blah. Then he goes back. Then he shows up. No, this guy has some mm. fucking nerve showing up at their house like this. He has some fucking nerve. Either that or he has a death wish. Why can't he it's have am, both? It's amazing what guys will do when they're looking for some pussy, right? You know, just saying. Yeah. So, and they invite him in there, and he sits on. He get he gets her uh, what what her knitting needles up his ass there. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah. And he wants to apologize for what happened, and he doesn't know what came out of oh, this wonderful kitchen. But yeah, I always love the talking. kitchen. They got a great kitchen, let's face it. Yeah. And then Jack comes in. And he comes a piece of shit out of him. I, I mean, he comes and talks to him. <laughs> yeah. He's he's just saying he feels like unless he wants to do this. And he's asking her to come back and. And John gives her the approval to go back. I was like, no, seriously, th this would be pushing it way too far. Like, way too far, almost. I, yeah, he one... hasn't suffered his repercussions for making a move on another man's wife. Yeah. He needs to leave with some type of bodily harm. Oh, de most definitely. All right, so, oops. So, you'll see it. <clears throat> then, uh, Mary Ellen asks who's that. Uh, Joshua, and she thinks he's cute. So, Mary Ellen's going to start making the moves on him. No. Uh -uh. Then there's this, I can't remember what it was. Oh, don't tell me. How are you going to be a doctor without a telephone? And so now he's coming to kiss ass, so blah, blah, blah. They make up, blah, blah, blah. This is the thing here. And then the, that's it. So we leave with our prologue here. Good night. Our epilogue. Good night, John boy. 
The, the mountain colored our lives when we lived in its shadow. And even after, when the course of our lives led us far away, whenever, wherever it may be, with the coming of night, I always whisper those long ago voices. Alrighty, so. With that, there's our Walton's review there. Uh, Jerry, let's start, let's start with you. What'd you think? I'd say a solid B minus. <laughs> uh, would have liked to see a little bit more Zeb, but understandable why there wasn't. And I would have liked to see the professor get what was coming to him. At least a black eye. Okay. Uh, PvP, how about you? Yeah, I'd probably go with about the same. I'll give it a B minus. It's it's not an awful episode, but it's certainly not one of the best. Uh, you know, I, I'm probably given. I wouldn't even rate it that high if I didn't have a you know a degree in, in art history. So I did enjoy some of the actual references to actual real painters because the writers at least did the research on that, but. Yeah, I, I couldn't give it higher than a B minus. I just I didn't think it was, you know, an extra special episode anyway. So yeah, I'd go with a B minus. All right. Uh well, me here, I almost want to give it the coveted fuck you out of ten for birthday. <laughs> Cause the, the, the realism takes out of it and where where the guy should should have the guy suffers no repercussions, even though he knew exactly what he was doing. You know, <laughs> splurge of impact there. Then he has the nerve to come to their house. Like, I'm giving it a B minus, but it should almost deserve the fuck you out of ten. Because <laughs> that guy had a lot of nerves coming back to the house after what he did to Olivia, and uh, he almost destroyed yeah. their whole fam family there. there. I can say that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saving the I'm I'm giving the series one coveted fuck you out of ten, and that's <laughs> way down the road road there. Uh, uh. Well, I'm sure there's episodes that will deserve the F for sure. Yeah, there is one one I already got I already got it picked out. Oh shit, we're looking at bad stuff coming, are we? Oh, one. So <laughs> now with that, let's see. I'm a. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close the poll here. Oh, shit. I didn't vote. Oh, shit. Oh, I well, missed the poll. Too late now. Oh, well. Yeah. You know my now, rating, B minus. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not, that's not what I want. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, there we go. So. Then present your screen. Share screen. And looks like we got six votes. We got 50% this is B plus and B minus. The, uh, the, and we got 33% that says A plus to A minus. And 16% says here to hear stupid shit gorilla says. <laughs> <laughs> all righty so that seems pretty accurate to me i'm guessing like that doesn't seem too far off yeah <coughs> hey girl have you ever got a hundred percent like where they vote that you they want to hear you say stupid shit like i'm really looking forward to that day yeah, no, no. Uh, there's always a couple votes. It's usually in the thirty percent range there, <laughs> but well, it's like there's almost like if people think the episode's an F, then that it's like, why would, why would they he be here to listen to that? No, we're just here to see what the fuck comes out of our mouths here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you're you're always entertaining. I gotta say, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. So. Thank you, Pop Culture Curator, for coming. Uh, it's Lost in Space on Mondays at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. On uh, Tuesdays, it's the Horror Sci-Fi Streams. Uh, Wednesday at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, me and him review two episodes of Gilgis Island. That Saturday is uh, um, 
the rumblings from the lab. And thank you, Cody guy, for coming. And thank you, Suzanne X team, for coming. That was everybody who chatted in the chat, uh, there I'm not sure who else was lurking, but thank you for lurking. All right, PvP, what do you got going on? Uh, not much. I had a crazy day today with uh, lots of stuff. Well, actually, I had some stuff going on, and I got uh, one phone call I was expecting that never materialized, so that's a bit weird, but oh well. Nothing uh, much, though. It was too busy a day for me to even think about YouTube. Well, that's why I was on here like half an hour later than usual, because I didn't have my internet for a while, but it all worked out. All right. And, Jerry, what do you got going on? Uh, Tuesdays is Andromeda on Saturday. By cinema Thursdays is the Nerd Night Roundtable, and tomorrow morning at eight Saturday morning cartoons. The winner of this week's poll was Care Bears. Somehow, some way, it absolutely steamrolled. Sixty-seven percent of the vote. Well, we know who. I I think I think I know who's responsible for that. Are you willing to claim responsibility now? No, it was not me. I, I, I still want to vote for Vader's in because I, <laughs> I asked you to put that on there. So well, vote somebody. Yeah, don't look at me. I, I don't, I don't like the Care Bears. So. Oh, you're too young for the Care Bears. Yeah. Were they a bunch of like crackhead bears or something? <laughs> crackhead bear. Actually, I, that I'd watch. Crackhead bears, I'd, 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 I'd watch that one. Well, the closest thing I can give you PvP is cocaine bear. I have no interest or knowledge in the care bears. Like, I thought they were like sickeningly cute and cuddly and like I want to puke. So, yeah, I'll take a pass. Yeah. On is it a cartoon to sell 5 million plus? Stuffed teddy bears with well, the designs on their stomachs. That says it all as far as I need to know. So, yeah, that's why I take I give it a big pass. All righty. As for me, I'm going to get a pull, a pull up there tonight. Or uh, Yeah, I should be able to get it up tonight. There will be a poll in the community chat. Uh, Germs pick for the franchises get put on the poll. If you're RoboCop, then I'll put the – I'll be – Adding the other ones back. Uh, I think I'd take a Sharknado off if PvP has his franchise picked out already. Yeah, or... I, I, I I haven't uh, picked it out, but I'll let you know in the next day or two before before it comes Oh, okay. Well, I was wanting to get... No, that I'm not talking about Chris Jack. I'm talking about Sunday Night Simbos because it's the last Lord of the Rings movie to, to, oh. on Sunday, so I want to get the franchise. I want to get the pull-up so we got over a week to, a okay. week there. Yeah, I'll try and figure... Damn, I'm not good with franchises, but I'll see what I can do for sure. Well, we'll see. Well, I'll just keep Sharknado on it to, uh, this week here. See, yeah. it, see what just it does. Just go for it. Yeah. yeah. It's still Lord uh, of the Rings on Sunday, though, right? Yes. Okay. At 4 o'clock. But, yeah, otherwise, tomorrow we got the Johnny Mnemonic, Mnemonic uh, review. The Sunday will be our, our uh, Lord of the Rings uh, Return of the King a uh, watch party at four o'clock Central Standard Time. We should have justified on uh, Wednesday. Then for Cringe Stock, you, you, I still don't know what we're watching for Cringe Stock. Then our next episode is, uh, let's see, exit close player is the ring on our first date with a college man. Mary Ellen must choose between making a good impression and tell the truth. Oh fuck. Does she ever oh, do either? Did does I say never, that? I mean, oh, yay. She never does either of those, does she? Doesn't she just lie and never make an impression? Like, Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, you guys have a good night. Remember to be a gorilla. Yeah, good night.